Thank you, Mr. Palnitkar. Our next speaker is the Chief Operating Officer at Fidelity National Financial India, a wholly owned subsidiary of Fidelity National Financial INC. In this role, he heads up FNF's India business operations that spans about 3,000 employees. Before Fidelity, he played strategic roles with Hewlett Packard and Ocwin Financial Corporation in consulting, investment banking, and financial services. May I invite Mr. George Inasu, VP Operations, Project, and Strategy at Financial, Fidelity Financial Services. Good morning. Mr. Daudi, thank you so much for having us here. Uh, it's just unbelievable that in a very, very short span of time, and we've been associated with Mr. Chaudhary and with the, the government of Andhra Pradesh just probably less than six months, to see the change that we've seen happen with, with just the FinTech Valley here in Vizag. So this is my first time to Vizag, and I'm thoroughly impressed. I mean, I'm sure anyone who comes here for the first time, especially coming from Bangalore, or from any other part of India itself, you'd blown away by not just how seamless and how easy it is to just get around the city, but more than that, how clean it was. I mean, I, I looked around for dirt to be there, and, and we are so used to that being part of India, and I can tell you that, I mean, maybe, they might be able to give Singapore a run for their money soon. <laughs> With that said, uh, uh, it's a great honor for us to be here. Uh, I'd like to keep it brief, I know this, many of us on the dais, uh, to share just a couple of things that caught my attention over the last couple of days or a couple of months. There was a recent article that I saw in the paper where we had somebody show their, the we sign for victory. And the article basically spoke about how by doing the we sign that somebody could take a picture of your finger and could get the fingerprint off it and could hack into your, your phone or other, other, I mean, financial, say, services that you use using those fingers that you have, right? The fingerprint on your hand. And that just, just bothered me because I looked at that and I said, I know that the world is changing, but it's changing at a pace that I think even for us, I mean, it's difficult for us to comprehend because how easy is it, was, is it for us to now get the, the fingerprints of our favorite cricketers. I mean, they have big bank balances. And suddenly I realized that, that FinTech Valley, while I know that from the government of Andhra Pradesh standpoint is, is, is going to be here in, in Vizag and is going to be built up, is critically important for us as business leaders to understand that that is going to be game changing for us on the ground. Because we deal with trillions of dollars of money that exchange hands between person A to person B. And as we get more digital with a lot of these transactions, if we are not ahead of the curve with some of these requirements that are there, with the controls that are there, with the cybersecurity that is required, we will eventually have a case like what we've seen where there's companies that have been able to hack in or hackers that have been able to come and uh, hold companies to a ransom before that data gets, I mean, released or the, the, the people can get out of their hotel rooms and so on and so forth. So, so I think it's critically important for us as a business to understand that. And, and I'll take just another quick minute to share with you what FNF is, Fidelity National Financial. We are a late entrant to India. We, joined, we came to India only in 2005. And what we're trying to do now is to make sure that we are not a late entrant into the FinTech Valley business. And I know that, that given the support that we've got from uh, the government of Andhra Pradesh here, I see no other space to be in, especially with regard to FinTech and with this kind of an environment and the speed. I mean, it's going to be, I mean, if you're not here, you're going to be missing out. With that, thank you so much for allowing us to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Inasu. Next up, we have a senior executive with deep experience in technology and outsourcing services.